let's take a look at some polar graphing. So what we have here is a polar graph. And what each one of these circles uh, represents is a union, as a unit. So whereas before this was the x-axis here, and we counted, you know, 0, 0 with the center, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the same way that this works, that these were our units. And what, whatever we were um, measuring, uh, say units were length or something, it could be feet, 1 feet, 2 feet, 3 feet, etc. And if uh, this is my y, it was 0, 0, and it counts up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. like that. So... On the polar, you're given a distance and you're giving an angle. So here's your distance and here's your angle. So the angles are indicated around the side. For example, this one right here says 30 degrees and this says 60 degrees, 90 degrees. And it goes all the way around uh, to 360 degrees because um, that's how many degrees are in a circle. So you notice right here, this says zero or 360 degrees because they're the same. Um, and we could also go in the negative direction. So where this is um, 330 degrees, it says right there, it's also minus 30 degrees. So it could go in the um, opposite direction right here, okay? Um, minus 30, minus 60, minus 90. And so this is either 270 or minus 90. So you can look at it like that. Um, they can also add. Um, so we had a point that was at... Um, 370 degrees, well, that would mean that we would have to start here and we have to go all the way around once, 360, and keep going around a little bit more till we got to 10 degrees, okay? So um, maybe I'll put another one up here that we might plot. We might plot point D, and we're going to put that, um, we'll put that at uh, seven units, and we're going to put that at uh, 540 degrees, just to give you an, an example of that one. So here we go with our points. The first one, a is 4 at 30 degrees. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find the 30 degrees right here, and then you're going to count out four units. One, two, three, four. And that's my point right there, and I'll put my A right there. Okay. The next one, B is 6 at 150 degrees. So we're going to find the 150 degrees right here, and then we're going to count out six units. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that would be my B point. Okay. And then C is going to be 5 at, at negative 60 degrees, okay? So now we're going uh, not positive 60, we're going negative 60, and we start here at 0. So negative 30, negative 60, it's going to be on the 300 degree mark here, the 300 slash negative 60, and it's going to be 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is going to be my C. Now my D, I added that other one here, 7 at 540. Well... 540 is 360 degrees plus 180 degrees. That, that's 540 degrees. So if I wanted to apply that, you know, I wouldn't go at, you know, 7. I'd go, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 7 right there at 0 degrees. We need to go 540 degrees. So this would be 360 plus... 180 more, which would put us over on this line over here. So it's actually one time, one and a half times around, and it would be at at seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which would be right there. That's where would be my point D. Okay. So well now it says convert the points to rectangular. Okay. So we're going to take a look at this, and we'll start with my first um, item here, A. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to redraw my A. It was looking like this. And we knew that it was 30 degrees here. That's the angle right here um, that it was uh, up on the polar, 30 degrees. And it was out there at four units. Okay. Um, now we need to get the X and the Y because that is how rectangular are. It's X comma Y. Okay, so we can use our SOHCAHTOA, all right? And so the first uh, one we're going to do right here is we can do sine, sine of 30 degrees is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, okay? So if I got sine of 30, I got the opposite of this, which is my Y, over my hypotenuse, which is 4. And if I multiply each side by 4, 
I get those to cancel. This is going to be what my y is. 4 sine of 30 is equal to y. So if I hit 30 and I go sine and I times by 4, I get 2. Okay, so this is equal to 2. How about my x right here? Well, I'm going to use cosine of 30 is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse. And so that is going to be the adjacent, which right here is the x over the hypotenuse, which is 4. So I multiply this side by 4 and this side by 4. These cancel. And I hit cosine 30. 30 cosine times 4. I get 3.46 equals 3.46. 3.46 okay so it's x comma y so this point a right here which happened to be 4 at an angle of 30 degrees well this is also we wanted to, if it was on an xy system an xy cartesian grid it would be 3.46 x comma y 2 and so if it's cartesian you'd, you'd count over 3.46 and go up and then you can and you can see that Here's the, the arc swinging through here, and this was 4. So, yeah, this is going to be less. It's going to be less than 4, and it's it's up about um, up about 2 there. So that's what that A looks like, all right? Let's do another one. I draw the line right here, and we're going to do a couple more. I got um, the B right here. So here's my B, and this is at 150 degrees. So now I'm looking at an angle or, or a triangle like this, all right? Well... What we have to do is we have to realize that, you know, it's this angle here that is 150 degrees. All right. So what is this angle here? What is this angle here? Well, a circle has 360 degrees in it. A half a circle has, a, has 180 degrees. So whatever this one, this 150, that's what B was at plus whatever this angle is has to equal 180. So this is 30 degrees. Okay. And so what I've got is I have just the opposite triangle of this. So it's going to be pretty easy to see that, hey, this is going to be 2, and this is going to be 3.46. And this is going to be, um, oh, I'm sorry, that's not going to work because this was 6. I'll have to run the numbers again. Uh -huh. So this was 6. So basically what we need to do is we need to run these numbers Again, and if I and if I ran through the math where I went, um, my y is over here and my x is over here. You know, sine is the opposite y over six, and cosine is the adjacent x over six. I'm basically going to get these formulas right here. So it's going to be six times the sine of 30 degrees for y, and this one down here is going to be six times the cosine of 30 degrees for x, all right, because this has a hypotenuse of 6, and that one had a hypotenuse of 4. So we run these in here, 30 sine times 6 equals 3. So this over here is 3, and the x over here is 30 cosine times 6. I get 5.196. 5.19. All right. So now the question here is remember, if this was in a Cartesian system, x, y, like this, my zero, zero is right here. Okay. So this point up here on B, that was my zero, zero, and this was Cartesian. Well, we would have to move in, in the negative x direction, and we would have to move in the positive y direction. Negative x, positive y. We have to move negative x positive y because it's in the it's in it would, would be in quadrant two right here if it was Cartesian, okay. And so the point for for this one right here was going to be negative five point one nine six. So we have to go negative five point one nine six. So it's x remember it's x y. So it's negative five point one nine six, and then it was and then we went up three and we went up three so negative 5.1963 for this one what was this a again this a was um 
min 2, I believe, and y2, okay? So that's what we'll be looking like. All right, we're going to do um, another one, and we're trying uh, going to get the c. We want to get the x, y of the c right here, okay? So uh, last one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at um, the triangle. The, the c is down here. In, uh, if it was Cartesian, this would be the fourth quadrant uh, down here in this corner. So if I were to draw that triangle, it looks like it's, you know, that triangle is down here in this area down here. Okay, so I'm drawing that triangle. Okay, and we knew that um, it was negative 60 degrees. So the angle here was 60 degrees. We don't need, we don't need to worry about the negative. Um, and that the length here was 5. Okay, so once again, this right here is going to be my y. This is going to be my x. And we, we ran it. We did sine of 60 equals the opposite over the hypotenuse, which would be the opposite from the 60 here is the y over the 5. Well, then we have to multiply this side by 5 and this side by 5 in order to get that. So sine of 60 times 5. I get 4.33, so the y here is 4.33, and you can tell that by the time we work this out, if we use uh, cosine, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, cosine of 60 is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is, here's 60, there was my opposite, so it must be the x over 5, multiplied by 5 on each side. Cosine of 60 times 5 is, let's try that again, we can get 60 cosine times 5, 2.5. So that equals 2.5, and that's what this is, 2.5. And so what is my uh, coordinate system again? Remember, this if, if this uh, is the 0, 0, that, this, it would be 0, 0 on the Cartesian. And so how did I get to this point? Well. I had to go in the x direction of positive 2.5, but because it's in this fourth quadrant, I had to go down my negative, so negative 4.33. So this point right here in Cartesian, x comma y, is going to be over 2.5, and it's negative 4.33. Okay, so those that is how you convert um, from polar to Cartesian, and you just need to be aware of the positive or the negative signs to see if you're going positive and positive to put you up here. Negative and positive would be this quadrant. Negative and negative would put be this quadrant. Positive and negative would be this quadrant. So there's your polar to rectangular conversion.